Hi, and welcome to my guide. Today we will be completing the quest The Giant Dwarf. Now before going through the stats, quests and item requirements, let's first start the 2 minute cutscene by going to the quest start first. This is located just east of Releka, which is located north of Sirius Village and Camelot. Simply go enter the tunnel, then enter the eastern tunnel and there should find two dwarven NPCs. Talk to the Dwarven Boatman and select option 1 twice. This will trigger a 2 minute and 10 second cutscene. There are no quest requirements and the stat requirements are 12 crafting, 14 thieving, 16 fire making and 33 magic. Items needed. At least 200 coins, maybe more if you're gonna be buying some ores and bars from Blast Furnace or the Grand Exchange. Then also any kind of logs that you can light except for redwood, coal and a tinderbox, one iron bar and three cut sapphires. Also one law and air rune to be able to cast a spell telekinetic grab, so be sure to be on the regular spellbook. Next, also a red berry pie. It doesn't matter if you've completed the quest the knight sword or not, you must bring a red berry pie to Thurgo. And then finally, at the end of the quest, you will need to deliver some ores and bars to NPCs in this quest. You could prepare yourself and buy like 10 pieces of every ore and bar from clay all the way up to mithril and store them in your bank, or you could buy them during the quest. Ores can be bought in Blast Furnace and the bars can be bought in the Grand Exchange by simply using the minecart system. If you can't use the Grand Exchange, you could also smelt bars during the Blast Furnace minigame. For the recommended items is gonna be some weight reducing clothing as well as two stamina potions should be enough. And for the teleports, one to Varak. If you have not completed the quest the night source, else you can skip this. And one teleport to Mudskipper Point. The fastest way would be to use the fairing code AIQ. If you don't have that, the pest control teleport or a Remington POH teleport or simply using a glory to the banana plantation should also work. Once the cutscene is over, let's continue our conversation with the commander and select option 2. Yes, to start the quest. Next, let's exit the building and run northeast. We now need to make our way across the bridge and just south of the kebab shop there we'll find the sculptor. There is where we'll need to go next. South of Kujit, there in this weirdly shaped building, let's enter it and you should find two NPCs. Talk to Blazida the Sculptor and select option 2. Next, after speaking to him, we will need to enter the big building just west. And just southwest inside this floor, you should find a clothing sign. There, there should be an NPC called Vermundi. Talk to her and select option 2. That you're looking for some special clothes. After speaking to her, we will need to make our way to the library. So let's exit this big building and run across the bridge going west. The library is the first building after you've just crossed the bridge. So the first building after crossing the bridge, let's enter it and let's talk to the librarian. Select option 2.
Next, let's go to our equipment and let's check if we weigh above 30 kilograms. If you do, then bank or drop some heavy stuff for just a couple of seconds. Next, search any bookcase, doesn't matter which one. And we'll find the book of costumes. Next, we will need to deliver this to Vermundi. Also, be sure to bring along your tinderbox, coal and any kind of logs except for redwood. And probably pyro as well. Alright, let's talk to Vermundi once again to deliver the book on costumes by selecting option 2. Next, next to her should find a spinning machine. Use any logs on it. Next, use your tinderbox on it. And if you happen to fail, check your chat box. And if you happen to fail, just simply use your tinderbox again and try again. Next, let's talk to Vermundi once again to grab the clothes. Select option 2 and then 1. After you've obtained the cloth of Vermundi, we will now need to make our way to the other side of the river. But since we're already here, let's go north and you'll find two stalls. You can steal from the gem stall as well as the baker stall for some easy and elite diary task. Next, I'm gonna be climbing the stairs and then running across the river to the other side and climbing down. Next, since we're here, we can already go south, south of the bank, south of the pub, there should find a building that if you just trade stoneman, that will also trigger a easy Fremlic area task. Right, back onto the quest. Let's go west of the pub, and there should find a anvil sign and a shield shop. There should find the NPC called Saro. Talk to him, and select option 2. After speaking to him, we will need to make our way just north of the bank. There we'll find the NPC called Drummond, which will have a cat and he's constantly running around his room. First, let's talk to Drummond, and he will not be giving away his boots. There is one boot just north next to the window and one next to the door. Once Drummond has just passed the southern boot, simply take the left boot to get it in your inventory. Next, let's go outside this building and go stand next to the window behind the building. Stand next to the window and wait until Drummond has just passed the boot. Then, go to your regular spellbook and cast Telekinetic Grab on the boot. If it doesn't work, simply wait until Drummond has just passed the boot. And you will now get the exquisite boots. Next, let's enter the building just west and talk to the shop owner Santri. Select option 2 once again, but this time 3 times. After you've gotten the Dwarven Axe, let's use any sapphire on it and you will add 3 sapphires onto it. Talk to Sentry again and select option 2 again. Next, we will need to make our way to an Encamdo Dwarf. But if you have not completed the quest, the Knight's Sword, you will first need to go east and go back to the library to talk to the librarian about it. If you have already completed the quest, the Knight's Sword, and you've already spoken to Reldo in Varak about it, then just simply teleport to Thurgo and I will see you there. For those who have not, simply talk to the librarian and select option 2. 
the librarian doesn't really know about it, and he will redirect us to Reldo in the Varrock library. Let's go to Varrock and go to the castle's library to talk to Reldo about it. Right, let's talk to Reldo. Select the first option about Cam the Dwarfs, and he will say that they will love Redberry Pie. Next, let's go to Thurgo at Mudskipper Point. The fastest way to get there would be to use the teleport directly there using the ferrying code AIQ. What you also could do is use a Remington POH teleport, Rat Pits teleport, uh, Pest Control teleport, Scroll teleport or using the glory to the Karamja Musa Point banana plantation. Once you've made it to Thurgo, let's talk to him. Let's select option 2 and then 1. After the fade to black, be sure to select the first option to return to Keldagrim immediately, else you'll need to make your way back there yourself. Right, once you've made it back to the Sculptor's building in Keldagrim, let's talk to Ricky the model, the one standing still. After giving him all the items, let's talk to the Sculptor Blazidar. And talking to Blazidar will trigger a cutscene that shows that the statue is almost completed and that we just need to give some head. To do so, let's enter the big building just west again and go upstairs to try to join any of the 8 companies there. However, the Northwestern Company is only available to females, the Southeastern Company is only available to males and the Southwestern Company is only available to dwarves. The other five companies are not racist or sexist. Choose whichever company you would wish to join by talking to any secretary of the company and selecting option 3 to ask for any tasks that they have for you. Now please note, when talking to the secretary and afterwards to the director, I suggest you to not use a spacebar and actually read what they request of you. The secretary will ask you to bring some ores to them, but if you do not want to fetch those specific ores, click on the secretary again and select option 3 for more tasks again, and then he should change his task. When they ask for ores that you are willing to fetch, click to continue and then select the first option to take the job. If you have yet to buy and store various amounts of ores and bars in your bank, you could also buy most ores from the Blast Furnace ore seller just east. Also, there's a bank chest there. Fetch ores for the secretary like 5 times and he will say that there's no more work. And he will then redirect you to the director. Be sure to be able to read that and not pressing spacebar.
task. No more work, you can speak to the director. This was after five times and skipping like five tasks. Do the same thing for the director, but I would be more reluctant to refuse tasks from the director. Instead of ores, fetch metal bars for the director like one to three times. Just southeast of Keldegrim, you could take the center minecart for free and go to the Grand Exchange, and from there you can buy the requested bars. Or if you cannot use the Grand Exchange, you could also smelt the bars yourself in a Blast Furnace world. Yet again, do not click to continue and read the dialogue of the director until he asks you if you have ever considered to join the company. Once he has said that, after one to three times of delivering bars to him, you will need to select option 2, 3, 1 and then 1 again to continue and basically complete this quest. You never felt satisfied. Have you considered joining the company after the second delivery? Yes, officially join. Select option 2311 after he has considered you to joining the company. Then mention Blazidar after you have joined the company. Then select option 1. <gasps> Shit. Select option 1. And after you finally joined the company, long live the company you joined, simply return to the quest start on the western side of Keldegrim to complete your quest by simply talking to him and selecting option 1 twice. But if you select option 1 twice, then they will start a cutscene that takes 3 minutes and 15 seconds. If you would wish to skip that 3 minute cutscene, simply select option 1, 2, Two. And congratulations, you've completed the giant dwarf quest you are awarded with 2 quest points, 2500 mining experience and smithing and crafting, and 1500 magic, thieving and fire making experience. Also, you've now completed a quest requirement for another slice of ham and the forgettable tale of a drunken dwarf. This was my guide to complete the giant dwarf. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye. By the way, as for these meeting notes, you can simply drop them.